The state of the chamber is healthy. It is strong. I'm here to tell you, we have an engaged board. We have engaged members on all the committees throughout the chamber. We're alive. We're vibrant. We're moving. We're shifting. We're constantly changing to meet the needs. Um, it's a great time to be involved with the chamber. One of the major initiatives we launched in 2015 was really sinking our teeth into the transportation issue. We considered a transportation crisis in the Fredericksburg region with 400% growth here since 1970. It's all about location, location, location. And we are a product of that growth in that we are mired in gridlock. The problems are, are real here, and they, they affect everything from uh, being able to do business, get your kids to school, get to work, get your products out. So we consider it the biggest issue that's affecting business, and we consider it our job to get in front of that issue, to bring attention to it for our community and seek solutions. We have a Regional Transportation Action Committee and we started doing a series of community conversations uh, in 2015, uh, largely uh, approaching issues around transportation. We talked with local, state, federal officials about it. We brought in the community and said, what, what do we want? What, what do we need to see? We don't have all of the answers. We are working with the community to get the answers. Sequestration is something that has really affected the Fredericksburg region. It's affected Virginia as a whole, but the Fredericksburg region, home to three military bases. Also, the Fredericksburg region, where so many folks, about 40% of your folks are commuting uh, outside of our district. It can be government contracting or defense related. But sequestration really has gutted like the cream of our, of our community. You look down at Hampton Roads and you see uh, folks getting jobs just cut, 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 because it's so heavily defense uh, industry related. What are we going to do about that? We, and then we have all of these industries uh, where folks are waiting for people to apply and come work for them, and they're, they're not doing it. Uh, we have welders, we have plumbers, we have all kinds of hands-on work that's really good jobs. Our role is to work with all the groups that uh, provide opportunities for folks to get the training they need uh, for those jobs. That can be uh, the community college, it can be different training centers around the region, uh, Rappahannock Goodwill, uh, all kinds of places have different opportunities for all levels of skill sets. We help get that word out. We can help with soft skills, help them um, know where they can go to get the pieces that they need. At the Chamber, we do approximately 270 or so events a year, and then we have another 140 or so meetings that support the events or support the broader chamber. A Fred Tech tour is when you go on site to different uh, business locations in, throughout the region that are doing different new sometimes or not so new but but pieces of technology so you can get out there and see it hands-on and go wow that's really cool what they're doing and that word gets out about it and somebody else might be interested and it could lead to future opportunities. Business after hours occur uh, every month here at the Chamber. Um, and when, when we say network, that can be a, a funny word to some people, a scary word even. Uh, when you join a Chamber, you think, what am I going to do? Am I going to be standing in the back of the room? Do they all know each other? What happens there? Well, the best thing you can do is just go up and talk to somebody. People like to do business with people they know and trust. The chamber is where you build those relationships and the trust grows and your business grows and the community grows. So as we move forward in 2016 and beyond, uh, it's an amazing thought that we've been here 100 years and that now we have the next 100 years to look forward to. So our intention is to leave this place better than we found it, uh, just as the folks before us did. And we know the chamber, even 10 years from now, will not look like it did 10 years ago uh, when I first came to the chamber. What I can tell you is we will be at the table talking to all the folks uh, as trends emerge and we'll be getting that word out continuously and shifting and changing and meeting the needs of the businesses in our community.